world really doesn't know today, and I think that's why we were sworn to secrecy, is how close we really came to a potential nuclear holocaust. You know how much press the nuclear warheads got when they landed in Cuba? Well, this was a thousand times worse, but nobody knows about it. Another victim was the United States naval vessel Liberty. She was mistaken for an Egyptian vessel, and Israeli ships and planes torpedoed and strafed her. The story of the Liberty is not a who done it, it's a why did it. The casualties were high, 34 American dead and 75 wounded. There were arguments later about how the error happened. The reality of what happened is it was not a mistake, and it was, they wanted to sink us, and what does that mean to this country? Case closed, mistaken identity. We're very sorry. Is there anything else I can help you with? Well, there's, there's no question. <laughs> it was a big cover-up uh, from the top on down. What did we do wrong? Why were we, why are we being labeled the bad guys and we can't talk about it? For the next 40 plus years, I never said anything to anyone. No, never. I knew it would be the end of my career if I said anything. In the Naval Security Group, everything was secret. So just one additional secret you had to keep. You just couldn't talk about it. It was such a secret and with our lives threatened. And who knows if they were monitoring us or doing whatever. You ever repeat one word about the USS Liberty and who did it to you, I guarantee you I'll see you in Leavenworth or worse. You know what worse means? When you're told by the President of the United States, Secretary of Defense, to keep your mouth shut, don't say anything, and that's a direct order. Israel had America by the scruff of the neck. Uh, such was the need to cover up what America had got up to during the Six Day War. His uh, girlfriend from the Mossad told him that he could raise all kinds of money to continue the Vietnam War. He had been contacted by a man with a hoarse voice who said that he'd been a pilot that attacked at Liberty and suddenly he disappears. There's no record. You can only suspect that it was as he feared. They deported him, they turned him over to the Israelis, took him back to Israel, court martialed him secretly, and maybe have executed him. The Liberty is a microcosm of this much bigger problem in the Middle East. And Americans need to know what happened. The story has to be told. and so that we were under attack by unknown jet aircraft. They say, get over it. You don't get over something like this, it haunts you. The men would bring the body pieces up to me and I tried to put them together to make a body out of them. I don't know what the hell happened and I haven't taken time to find out. I know nothing about it. What I'm about to tell you is for your ears only. You are not to tell anyone during my lifetime. I, I'm surprised I can even talk about that. You were sad. <sighs> that type of horror, your body is not going to remember. Your brain's not going to record it. I think we sacrificed a lot of people for uh, no good reason. I am not saying anything about the Liberty, period.